What's up everyone? It's MCI here from EDP Studios. My man Froster came in and did a quick video with us to start our new interview series. If you dig it, subscribe to our Exit Door Productions page. Don't forget to hit that bell for the notifications and please comment and share. Much love. Peace. Inspired me to do music was my whole family really and just being grown up around it the whole time. And my grandfather played nine instruments and was in bands his whole life. My dad played the guitar his whole life. So I don't know, it's always just really been there, but I, mean, I connected with rap much more than really any other sounds I've ever heard. So I really like the artistry behind it. What really has been inspiring me lately is uh, all the music being made by people who are kind of just putting more of a energy feel into it, you know, like, so when you go and you listen to it, you know, of course you want great lyrics and whatnot, you don't want to listen to no bullshit, but the feeling you get when you listen to it is just so much more intense, you know, like my favorite rapper, Caskey, you know, like the tape he just dropped is just a pure example of what I'm talking about, you know, like the energy like Lil Uzi Vert would put in songs, you know, like Money Longer, like that's just dope, I don't fuck with everything he makes, you know, but that type of thing right there, that's what really inspires me lately and just full on people who are more about the artistry than being called like a rapper, you know, like of course that's what you're going to be called, but to dive out into other realms in a way. That's what probably inspires me the most. <sighs> the process for me can really vary, man. I do it in every like way, really. Um, I could just sit there and start writing lyrics out of anything, just to write them, and then find a beat to make it that I think sounds good, or I could find a beat and create a whole like idea off of that in itself, or. I don't know, there's just so many different ways. I could be just going down the road, you know, and say some shit in my head and be like, all right, I know what kind of beat I want for that. I'm gonna go look that up. Or I could hear a beat and be like, all right, I know how I wanna go on that. So then I just get to writing, man. Always writing. I don't have any currently planned or coming, but who knows, you know, they come and go quick and easy. Could have one next week planning, you know, who knows. Oh man, uh, I wouldn't say that there's a lot of them, but probably about seven or eight. Yeah. Of course the most memorable would probably have to be the time that I did get way too drunk and fall off stage, you know, they, <laughs> they kind of split my time up. Me and Ray Gotti, we did like half our set first, and then after everyone went, we did the other half, and by the time we got to the other half, you know, I was kind of through the roof, and I mean, nobody really cared. I hopped right back up, and they thought it was the coolest fucking shit ever, so I guess in the end, it worked out. Well, the first one was Trust No Man. That came off that 2016 EP that I was talking about earlier. Um, after that, we did Toxins with Ray Gotti off my New Wave EP. Then there was New Wave after that, and then Problems after that. Now, my favorite would have to be New Wave, just simply because it really showcases um, Muskegon and an aerial view, pretty dope, fucking drones out there the whole time, you know, and that song's just gotten probably the best feedback I've had out of really every song I've made. I just dropped my Perseverance Volume 2, and since then I've kind of just been doing a lot of uh, brainstorming on where I kind of want to go with my whole lane, you know, so I've done a lot of um, features lately for some people, uh, 
none of them have really been released yet, but they will be soon. And from there on, I don't know, I'm still just trying to find exactly that lane I'm trying to choose to go down, you know, because all my music's so versatile and out there, you know, it's just like, I have so many different fan bases that are like, I like that side of you, I like that side of you, don't really care for the other one or the other one, so I'm trying to, in a way, mesh them together, so to say. Fucking both. Oh, really? I have a bad problem of, you know, combining the both. That's, that's, that's <laughs> actually how I, uh, I fell off stage at that fucking performance. You know, I started with a lot of beers early, early in the day, and just whiskey and beer, whiskey and beer. It's, I like them fucking both. I don't like the pail that comes in. I'm sorry. All right. <laughs> well, with that one. well, <laughs> hopefully no fine redheads see this and they... <laughs> hey. Somebody will appreciate you. Yeah. <laughs> Just not me. Just not me. <laughs> Just not me, bro. I'm sorry. You can have a yeah, mob of redheads at his door tomorrow. Right. My, my cousin's a redhead. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she gonna be upset. What makes me tick, I'd have to say. Seeing uh, my family and the ones that care around me do a lot better than they can or are doing at the moment. Um, I've always had a thing for the luxurious things in life, you know. People have tried to say, you know, I got that, what is it, uh, Beamer lifestyle on a Pinto budget. <laughs> you, know? <laughs> you know, it's kind of how it is, you know, so just, I just want to be able to sit back at the end of the day, do what the fuck I want to do and know I'm doing it. Luxuriously. Back again. I make music, man, because I just, first of all, it makes me feel good. And then when, you know, you drop something and you get that feedback from people and they say, you know, how much it really affects them in a way, and that kind of must, that's really the driving force behind it, you know. I like reactions from people and just like kind of making their life better in a way. Oh man, shout out to EDP Studios for sure, Jason Ingersoll, man. Wouldn't be doing this without him. Did have a hell of a nice show at Pope's Pub that one night because of him. That was dope too. Uh, shout out Chilla, always making my videos dope. Gotta shout out my boy Ray Gotti for sure. Dude's out there making fucking moves. The future holds a lot for Froster. I see a lot more uh, work being put in. You know, this last year I kind of slacked off a little bit and my family life got a little hectic you know so took a little time to myself in that realm and we only going up from here that's for fucking sure more work more better music more marketing more everything brand new two three one hey 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 it's frosted bitch I had to turn the fuck up on this one. Hey, 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 hey. What's well, getting verse here, everybody? Real street music. Hey, 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 hey. Much is the money line. Really do not have my phone If you was my homie, then left me alone I'm going hard, goodbye, I'm going far Me and my homies could take over yard I saw what your mom tied up by the arms Explained to her why this shit had to start Damn, I'm feeling so dark Demons done ripped in my heart I'm trying to regain every part But these demons keep testing me Saying that they're my only resort I got no regrets, need I address All the distress, I'm always depressed TSD, I know we up next These rappers so mad cause they see the success Fuck it all, I'ma never drop the ball Leaning on this wall, so fucked up about to fall Even his mama loved the way I put it down God damn, they put me in a jam These bitches must know who I am Cause they ripping down my pants I'm a dirty man, fuck her while we stand But you know in public, I never hold no hands Only wanna fuck you once, yeah, I got different plans Cocky as hell, but humble, my mind is 
feels like a puzzle. I've been through a struggle, so excuse me if I seem troubled. Most of these people crumble under stress. I'm stronger than a huddle. Got way too fucking much to accomplish. Get another new wave, new wave, new wave, new wave. Starting on y'all today. None so I do not feel pain. Bitch, I'm on a new wave. Bitch, I'm on a new wave. New wave by day, I'm paving the way. Bitch, I'm on a new wave. Bitch, I'm on a new wave. New wave, new wave, new wave. wave. Y'all fake like some toupee. I'm the diamonds and them rubies. I need a bitch with a big ass booty lately. Life been like a movie, cause bitch, I'm on a new wave. New wave. I get super fried, man. I stare at the horizon. I feel so enlightened. All my views have widened. The entertainment's rising. We're stronger than some titans. We louder than sirens. I'm such a fucking tyrant. Fuck me over once, I cut you off twice. Who will lose your trust? It's like on the dice. Everyone got a chance, and now they turn scum. I've got it in my hands, but with one slip, I'm done. I do it for my son. He's the only one who will be by my side when all the rest have gone. As I'm blown, these blunts are figured. My buzz is going bigger. Friends have seen to linger, so I keep my finger on the trigger. This is not what I had pictured. Now my patience also with it. Just hand me some liquor. I deserve it. Everything considered. This radiant, I'm strong just like titanium. I want to sell a stadium from here to the Ukrainians. My words last like Canadians. I must have came from aliens. I'm drunk cuz I'm fucked up. Stumbling around the campus, rolling blunts up. Every day we do this, mama says I'm a nuisance. I'm steady making movements, to myself I've proven. Struggle is translucent, we will all remain students. Bitch, I'm on a new wave, new wave, new wave, new wave. Starting on y'all today, none so I do not feel pain. Bitch, I'm on a new wave, bitch, I'm on a new wave. New wave by day, I'm paving the way. Bitch, I'm on a new wave, bitch, I'm on a new wave. New wave, new wave, new wave. Y'all fake like some toupee. Yeah, don't, yeah, just don't let don't it flow, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm high as shit. Bro. That's all right, man. That's, that's fine. <laughs> that's all right, so. What